Hello, everyone. How are you? So my name is Lorenzo Bianchi, and I'm the App Promotion Lead for Europe, Middle East, and Africa at Google. Uh, my job is twofold. On the one hand, I work with our product teams in California and help them build great products. And on the other hand, I work with app developers like yourself and help them to maximize installs and drive engagement and lifetime value. I most recently launched search on search ads on Google Play and Universal App Campaign, which I'll uh, talk to you a bit more later. And I'm uh, currently working on some really, really great products. For example, YouTube uh, Target CPA, which we uh, just launched. Before I start with my presentation, I'd like to ask you a question. So here, everyone has an app, right? Can you just shout out loud the vertical that your app is in? Kids. Kids, great. Sports, entertainment, games, travel, social casino, entertainment again, but yeah, social casino, productivity, yeah, productivity, classified, great stuff. So, a pretty broad representation of verticals just in this audience here. And if I can make this work. All right. Yeah. It is no secret that, you know, mobile is eating the world. Uh, someone from just 50 years ago would not recognize our tech-driven mobile world today. And as we are Google, you know, we love data and we've been looking very carefully uh, you know, at user behavior uh, and how, let's say, to interpret that data. And actually, we've been pouring uh, the latest uh, data to create great products to help our partners stay ahead of this uh, trend. The shift is crystal clear, and we need to adapt to the increase in mobile usage. And I said, you know, we look at a lot of stats. Here there is one uh, that I want to share with you, that just today, more Google searches happen on mobile device than on computer device, already in 10 countries, including the U.S. and Japan. And app discovery is hard. We know it's a jungle out there. The average mobile user has 36 apps installed on their devices. And a quarter of those that doesn't never even get used. So they just sit there on the, on their device. And at Google, we're working hard to solve for two things. Solve for app discovery and engagement. But this is a problem that's quite familiar to Google. And to explain that, let me take you into a time journey. Uh, please all jump into my time travel machine. Let's put the time throttle back to 1998, when there were about one million post names on the internet. And nobody could find the content that they wanted. Well, Google helped to solve that by crawling, indexing, and surfacing all of that content on Google search. And today, there are over one billion host names, websites, on the internet, and we've organized all of that information on Google search. So today, there are over one million apps just on the Play Store alone. So to a large extent, we view the problem that app developers are facing today a variation on a solved problem. 
and something that Google can help with. Can help with app indexing, for example, and crawling all of your app and organizing all of that information and making it accessible. And actually, we've already uh, started to do so. And hopefully, in a day not too far away from today, we'll see you know, the number of apps just continuing to increase. So, quick show of hands. Who here knows if they have their app indexed? Great. So hopefully all of you uh, that have your hands down today will go back and plan to index your app. It is free, and it does great things for your app content. And actually, we've already started helping a lot of app developers, um, and most importantly, help users to find your app without any work from your part. So as a user is able to search for pictures, for movies, for restaurant hours, if they search categorically for relevant queries, we'll surface your app. So for example, if someone searches, I don't know, for cheap flights to Berlin, we'll surface your travel app. Or if someone searches for Cool games will surface your games app. Or if someone searches for, I don't know, baking recipes, will surface a cooking app, like we've seen earlier today. But we know that installs is just one piece of the story. As we saw earlier, one-fourth of apps just sit on their phone and are never used. And we want to help you drive re-engagement with your users by surfacing your app content right at the moment when the users are searching for it. And users should be able to come back to your app as easily as they search for content on the web. And by implementing the app indexing API, Google will be able to surface your app content directly in the result page of search. And again, all of you with your hands down, to enable, uh, to actually enable deep linking and um, have the app indexing, uh, let's say index your app is super, super easy. You just have to, let's say, enable the support for deep linkings in your app and publish those deep links through the app indexing API. After you take those two steps, will crawl, index, and surface your content to users on the search page. And we've worked with quite a few partners to test uh, app indexing and deep linking. And we've seen uh, you know, here a couple of examples. One that I want to share with you is Daily Mail. After having uh, enabled their app for deep linking and implemented the app indexing API, they saw a boost in search impressions by 22%. So don't leave free discovery on the table and take advantage of all those searches that are happening on mobile today. So now we've looked at, let's say, uh, how to tap into organic growth and discovery. Let's look at opportunities into how to... Uh, let's say, tap into paid promotions for your app. So we know that search is one of the biggest drivers of app downloads on the Google uh, Play Store. And though in, in the Play Store, as I said before, there are over one million apps. And we've decided to do exactly what we did with the web, two apps. And we've launched search ads on Google Play. And this is because we wanted to allow app developers to take advantage of intent-rich signals of users searching for their app. And there are two formats, as you can see here in the screenshot, a list view 
and a grid or a cluster view. Lots of advertisers seeing amazing success, including Nordales of Top 11, who saw a 9x increase in up installs for, coming from Google search with the addition of the Play Inventory. But we talked about discovery on Google Play. But discovery really happens all over the places on the web. And we conducted the study, a research with Ipsos, and you know, one of the main findings was that users really discover apps all over the places. And when asked the question, which type of ads prompted app downloads, 50% replied search ads, immediately followed by display placements and video channels, such as YouTube. So you really want to be in as many as those places as it makes sense for your business to attract the right set of potential customers and drive as many high value downloads as possible. So for my, one of my latest product launches, we brought together five different teams at Google to create one campaign type to make it super easy for anyone to promote their app across all of our powerful platforms. And that was not an easy nut to crack. It took, again, five different product and engineering teams that were not talking to each other to start working together, many sleepless nights, and dozens of people to launch what we call today Universal App Campaigns. Eight weeks ago, we launched Universal App Campaigns to help users find your app across Google Search, Google Play, the AdMob Network, the Google Display Network, and YouTube all with one unified, fully automated app install campaign. And to set it up, again, super simple, just three steps. You have to upload a few lines of text and an optional uh, video creative if you have one. You have to set your target CPA and your daily budgets. And you have to select your language and your location. Click the enable button, trust me, three minutes, and voila! App ads ready to reach consumers in contest, in various mindsets, when the ad is most relevant to what they're doing on the web, whether they're surfacing, they're surfing the web, or they're watching a video on YouTube, or actually actively searching for an app on Google Play. And advertisers and app developers are using universal app campaigns in many ways uh, as their backbone of installs to being a core part of their global user acquisition strategies um, when entering new markets. For example, Tesco has worked with Periscopics to use universal app campaigns, and they've reached three times as many users and drove an uplift in the click-through rate by 77% and lowered their CPI by 38%. So again, promote your app in a variety of contexts. Users are doing lots of different things in mobile. So think about what your users are doing in mobile and try to find them at the right moment, in context, with the right ad, through search ads and play and universal app campaigns. And finally, once you have a large customer base, a large user base, your objective should really be to drive lifetime value up and the way to do that, one way to do that is through engagement campaigns. The easiest way to create engagement campaigns is by linking your Google Play in your AdWords account and take, advantages, take advantage of the auto-generated remarketing lists. Examples of these remarketing lists are that users, for example, haven't opened or haven't used your app in a certain amount of time and you can decide what the time is and remarket those. Or users that have a specific version on your app, maybe not the latest one, and are missing some new features and capabilities, and you can remarket those users. And once you've proven the concept, you can invest more time in creating custom lists. So once you know how your users derive value from your app, from your app create remarketing lists to retarget those users, and try to find, again, here, the right moment when the user is trying to perform an action, and your app is the right one for that action and um, you know, try to drive lifetime value up. So 
I'll wrap it up with how I began. You know, there's a clear trend. Mobile is eating the world. Make sure you stay at the forefront on innovation. Thank you. Thank you.